Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to my home lake, Kentucky Lake, and it's a little bit different right now. If you can't see behind me, it is froze over. Mother Nature has come. She has brought super cold temperatures for the first time in a couple years. The backs of the bays have froze over. Uh, up to the main river's got ice. But that doesn't mean you can't catch fish. When this thaws out, it'll be prime time to go catch a couple of janes. And if you're looking to go out in the winter, I've got some baits right here in this box that you might want to have. This is my top five bass baits for the winter. Coming in at number five is one of the most popular ways to fish in the winter, and that's with a jigging spoon or a bladed jig, which is basically uh, something like this right here. This is the Damiki Vault. Uh, this is really, really popular, getting even more popular the last few years. Uh, it's basically half jigging spoon, half blade bait, uh, great for vertical presentations up and down over the top of suspended fish or fish that are just sitting on the bottom fitting on shad. Uh, the second one is just your basic jigging spoon. This is just like a Hopkins shorty spoon right here. I do change the hooks out on these. Uh, the stock hooks are really not that good. But getting over the top of the fish, simulating dying minnows, uh, bait balls of shad that are suspended out there in 20, 30 foot of water. Uh, this is going to catch you a lot of fish, and you'll catch everything, not just bass. But you'll catch stripes, crappie, perch, uh, who knows, you might even catch a bull shark. Now, number four on this list is actually a newcomer that I probably wouldn't have put on there a couple years ago, but due to the popularity of this, especially in East Tennessee, it has become a go-to for winter fishermen. This is what we call the Tamiki Rig. It's a basically a jig head with a 90 degree eye tie so your line goes straight up and down and you put it on a really small bait fish imitating bait uh, i'm not going to get too crazy into how to use this thing do me a favor in the description there's a link to a channel uh, by my buddy alex rudd fishing he has a great video on the Tamiki rig and he can go into this in extreme detail i suggest you watch it but this is basically to fish vertically uh, straight up off the bottom it's huge for big smallmouth and spotted bass and largemouth and this really originated in east tennessee with uh, what they call the Mickey head but the key is small hook uh, 90 degree line tie to go straight up and down use really really light line now, this is actually a reaction innovation shiver shot on this dirty jigs matt stefan guppy head Dude, this is a really killer presentation. When it's tough and you can't get bites, the Damiki rig will pay off. And that comes in at number three. Coming in at number three, rest in peace, Dale, is one of my favorite ways to fish during the winter. And that's with uh, flat-sided crankbaits. And I've got several of them here in the box. Some of these are custom deals, but uh, flat-side crankbaits, if you can see, they're not real wide. They're very flat. And they give off a really, really tight wiggle when they come through water something totally different than most other crankbaits and the cool thing is a lot of people can make these uh, this one right here is made out of balsa uh, I've got another one that's made out of balsa and this one actually has a computer board circuit lip so it gets some crazy action when it deflects but the main thing is a really tight uh, wobble it's not going to create a lot of commotion as more as it has vibration it's not a thump uh, Bass really like these things. Uh, this one's like got David Walker's name on it. You know, he's a East Tennessee guy. Um, this is one of my favorites right here. This is the old Flat A from Bomber. They still make these. This one is really old and it's caught a lot of fish for me. I tend to stick to shad patterns in December, January, and 1st of February. Once you start getting that first good warming trend, I'll go to something like this Little John uh, MD spring crawl i'll get to my crawls my browns my chartreuses that water when that water gets actually from about 55 to 60 degrees but you're starting in to get spring temperatures uh, that's a great color spring crawl it's excellent number two on the list is one of the most popular presentations for wintertime fishing and baits and that is the standard football jig and this brand right here actually has living rubber skirt material in it. If you can't see, it really poops that jig skirt out. When that cold water it breathes, it makes it bigger than it really is. You don't have to move it to get a lot of action. Now, a lot of old school guys, they use uh, pork frog. Well, pork frog isn't made anymore, but Berkeley now has this max scent uh, chunk. And it's infused with a lot of scent. It's kind of got that old 
pork frog smell to it. And what I'll do is I'll just thread that chunk up like so on my football jig. Just cut my skirt a little bit. This one's pretty cut. And that's uh, what I'm gonna throw out there. I really stick to my browns and my black and blues. Another jig I like, this is the Dirty Jigs football jig. And I've actually got a Strike King Rage Bug on the back. And this is a green pumpkin, black and blue mix. I believe this is called Okeechobee 420. Really like this uh, on days where it's overcast in the winter. Really like this color, but keep it really simple. I'll, I'll stick to black and blues and my brown. The number one bait on this list, specifically, is the jerky. This one I've got in my hand right here is probably my favorite when the water temperature is, let's say, 52 to 40 degrees. That's the Mega Bass Vision 110. Unreal paint jobs on these things. The best part is they suspend perfect out of the package. You can snap that jerk bait, rip it, stop, and it will sit dead still, nose down. Uh, really, really deadly. Come in several colors. Uh, when there's a shad kill on the lake, like going on on this lake right here, you see birds diving. I'm going to stick to my really natural shad colors. Always match your jerk bait colors up too with the water clarity. You've got a little stain, you want to get your chartreuse, maybe some red, your purple. If it's clear, I really like transparent. Uh, this Mega Bass Sexy Shad just caught a 9 1 with me not too long ago. And it imitates the bait to the perfect. It's great clear or a little stained water. Uh, some other great jerk baits. Uh, if you don't want to spend the money on Mega Bass, this uh, J300 Deep uh, from Strike King is a really good bait. Uh, I've caught several fish on this. It gets down there in that six to eight, nine foot of water. A little bit deeper. It suspends as well. And if you're an old school guy, you take a old suspended rope, you put suspend strip on the bottom, and you make it suspend. This is a really big bait. I had this one custom paint there we were to go caught several fish on this. I like the rogue when the water gets over that 52, 53 degree mark, it's a little bit warmer where you really transition in the spring. But you can't catch them on these in the winter. It is a jerk bait. That's my top five winter baits. Now a lot of guys are gonna ask, where's the A-rig? Did you not include an A-rig or umbrella rig? No, I did not, because it's not a standalone bait. You have to attach something else to it to actually make it work. That's my top five, and I hope this helps you select some new lures for your wintertime fishing. Do me a favor, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Be sure to follow me on all social media, Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. Guys, tune in for the next video.